Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Saturday, July 18th. I am Joseph Triola from St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Springfield, Virginia, and I am currently filling in for my father, Pastor Albert Triolo, who is on a retreat for spiritual renewals this week. For Evening Prayer this week, we have been encouraging you to use Luther's Evening Blessing. It can be found in the link in the description for this video. Each night this week, I have been reading the appointed reading for, um, from the lectionary to accompany the evening blessing. You might notice that uh, the themes have been similar and have been continuing throughout the weeks, including this week. So all that being said, let us begin with our first reading, which is from Psalm 86. Teach me your way, O God, Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I will thank you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forevermore. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the pit of death. The arrogant rise up against me, O God, and a band of violent people seeks my life. They have not set you before their eyes, but you, O Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy on me, Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Gracious Father, when your son called out to you in the time of trouble, you heard him and brought him out of the pit of death to the glory of resurrection. Give strength to your servants whom you have raised with him to new life that with undivided hearts we may worship you and tell the glory of your name through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Isaiah, the 44th chapter. They do not know, nor do they comprehend, for their eyes are shut so that they cannot see, and the minds as well so that they cannot understand. No one considers, nor is there knowledge or discernment to say. Half of it I burned in the fire. I also baked bread on its coals. I roasted meat and have eaten. Now shall I make the rest of it an abomination? Shall I fall down before a block of wood? He feeds on ashes. A deluded mind has led him astray, and he cannot save himself or say, Is not this thing in my right hand a fraud? And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the seventh chapter, beginning at the fifteenth verse. Beware of false prophets. You come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by the fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, you will know them by the fruits. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 